Hey guys, welcome back to another video on web automation. And today's video is part three of web automation. And so in today's video, we're gonna make a Python program with Selenium that will go to a movie site. In this case, I'm using Cinemark, and which is a movie theater. Um, it's gonna find all the movies that are playing. So this is actually part one of a mini project that will, so like the goal of the project is to make a program that will find tickets for any movie you want and also check if there, if there are seats available in your desired row. So let's start. So the first thing we need to do to get all the movies is actually go to the website. And this is the website. Let me just go to it. So this is the website we go to, and then in the next step, um, we find an element by XPath and click on it. So that element is actually this, and I actually taught you how to find elements by XPath last video. So you just do inspect and then find the link element or input element, copy XPath, and then write this method so the next step is actually to um so once you click on it you actually get this pop-up and then you need to get a search field and that search field is an input you get the xpad and then and i stored it into a ch changed location variable and then i send keys 95050 which is california and then send keys return. So that got us to this page right now and that's where I'm gonna continue from. So what we're gonna do next is actually um, click on a theater. So to do this, my system will be where it's not complete yet. The system isn't complete yet. Today we're just gonna do a part of it and then like, um just make the other ones the um, other part will be part we change in the next video to make it better but for now what we're just gonna do is using um a method of selenium called find elements by class name we're gonna find all these links for these movies all of them and then depending on what you inputted it's going to click on the right one. So to do this, um, it will find all the links. And then, let me just type it out here. Theater equals input dot input, which theater type 0 for Centena or type one for a great mall so this is going to return a string and that means we're going to store it and we're going to do an if theater equals equals zero and we have to do double quotes because it returns string um then we're just going to do chosen theater equals a link so this is actually the link of this button this antenna row button so why we're doing this well we're just gonna get the link and then once we later on in the code where when we find all of the links we're gonna, we're gonna do an if statement and we're gonna do if um if uh, the chosen theater variable equals um uh equals this link that it will find later on it's going to find all of them so it's going to loop over all of these links and once it finds um one with the the same link as the chosen theater variable then it's going to click on it so let's just 
get this link control c i messed up control c go back and then paste so that's for centena row but else it, chosen theater will be for great mall the link for great mall so let's click on great mall goes to this link so i'm gonna um copy that and paste it here so now um this is the part where um we're actually gonna get all the links and to do this we're just gonna make a list called theaters equals list and then theaters dot find elements not by um so here's the thing there are multiple ways in selenium to get elements and one is which we used last video and um today what we're doing um and that is find element by xpath but if you want to get multiple elements you do find elements by class name so a class is um an attribute of an element and it just um it just tells it which class it belongs to so it's easier to sort and also it's used for styling in css to find elements with a certain class and then that certain class has a different font or something and so all of the elements with that class have a different font now so that's what its class is used for but in our case we're just going to get the all the elements with a certain class name and that's going to be the all of the theater links and we're going to store it into theaters so let's do it so if you pick any of these links i'm just going to do sentry at hayward um i didn't pick it correctly it um the link is this but the class is theater link and to prove that all of these links have the same class um i'm gonna click on blackhawk and check the link the anchor tag and as you can see the class is theater link so if we find all of the elements by class name it should get us all of these elements all of the anchor elements So now that's going to find, yep, that's going to find all those anchor elements. So now, so now, um, we're basically just going to check, we're just going to use a loop for I in theaters. And then we're going to do a link value. So now we're just getting the, the attribute of that element. Of the i element so link value equals um i dot get attribute so if i is the first element that it that it found when we did this method um it might be this um if we do get attribute and then we say href it will find this link for this and it's gonna store it into link value. So get attribute href, and then here we're gonna do an if. We're gonna do um, link if link value equals equals chosen theater. So if like so if um. The link value which might be let's just say it's true and it's and it shows as this link it finds this link and um, link value is now this link and chosen theater we also chose zero which means we chose Santana row then that means this will be true and it will click on it will click on that link 
and then it will also stop the loop. So if we run this, on this side it will show up our input. For now, I'm just going to do zero. And that should cl um, click on the Centena row link. Um, list object has no attribute find elements by class name. Um, let me go back here. Oh, so here's what I did wrong. Teeters, it shouldn't be teeters dot. It should be teeters equals browser dot find. So make sure you do that before you run it. Okay, let's try again. So now I'm going to pick um, Centena again. And as you can see, it clicked on Centena row and then it went to the page we wanted it to go to. So that means it worked and that means we can also do our next step. And our next step is to get all of the all of these movies. So you might say that um to you might when you first try this, you might try getting this header because we need to get the header too because that's where the the name is stored. But unfortunately this header doesn't have a class. It only has an ID. And we might be able to do find elements by ID, but that will only work if all of these have the same ID. And unfortunately, they don't, as you can see. So instead, we can try maybe doing the anchor. That does have a class, and it will find all of these, but it will also find too much, like this. Because if we click on this, that link still has a movie link class. So we'll find duplicates and stuff that aren't even movies. These are like operas and they aren't movies. So to only get this, the only option left is by finding a div. And that div is called, is that div, the div that we want to find has a class called movie block info because in this div it, find, it has the link that we want to find and in that link we find the header too which shows the movie name and this is good because this div um um only these divs are only here not here these are these are this is some other div as you can see, it's a movie slider movie shadow div. And that makes sense because it's a slider and it's some shadow, sh sh shadow thingy. But it's not what we're looking for. We need to find the movie block info div. So if we find all ele find elements by class name movie block info, we should only find these divs. Um we should only find these divs. So for ready or not, it's this div. And for butter falcon, what a nice name. Um, see, it has the it has the div, which is good, and it's the name. It's the same class. So if we find all elements by class name, movie block info, we should be able to find all of these. So let's do it. I'm gonna create a list called movie block movie blocks and then I'm gonna make a list equals this and then we're gonna do movie blocks equals browser dot find elements by class name and then do movie block info So now that we found all those divs, we need to find the anchor of that, the anchor 
that's in that div. And when you find that anchor, because that anchor has the header to which stores the name of the movie. So to do that, we need two more links. Movie links equals um, list and movie names equals list. So now we can do I, we're gonna iterate over movie blocks and get all of the links of it. To do that, it's very simple. We just, instead of doing browser.find element, we can do um, an element.find element. So that should find us an anchor of an element. So it's gonna find an element inside an element. In this case, it's gonna find an anchor inside a div element. So to do this, we're gonna add to movie links a link. Movie links append. Um, I'm gonna do i dot find elements, and I'm also gonna introduce another way to find elements, and that's by tag tag name. And the reason why we're not doing class name um, is because we just need to find one element, and class name doesn't have a way to find only one element with a class. So we're just gonna do find element by tag name and that's easy because we're just looking for an anchor tag and inside which is good this is good because inside this div block info there's only one anchor and that's this anchor the one we were looking for so this works out really well so now with this loop done we should have all of the links all of the links for these movies so by now you should know what the next step will be and that's to go even further we're gonna iterate over the movie links and find the header to by using tag name so let's do it for I in movie links movie names dot append I dot find element by tag name H2. So at this point, you might think we're done. All we have to do is just print movie link, movie names. But we're not done because all we did is find the movie names elements. So we only found the header two elements, not the text. We need to get the text attribute, the text out of it. And that's also really simple. We're just gonna do in another the last loop, and this is, loop will also print everything out. So for i in movie names, print i dot text. So this is basically i is the the header two element, and text is the text of that header two. And then in the end, we're just gonna, so that should be it for um, the code. It should be able to find um, everything, um, all of the movies that are playing. So in the, in the last part of the code, it's gonna print all of this, ready or not, the peanut butter falcon. It's gonna print all of the names. And that's actually the goal for today's video. So. Now the last thing to do is just test it. And also this code is just gonna quit after it's done. So let's test it. Okay, I'm gonna do um, Santana Row. Oh, I messed up. I didn't say find element by tag name. I accidentally said find element tag name. And that's actually not how you do it. So, oh, there it is. So, by underscore tag name. 
but at least we know now that it got to this part of the code so everything before was is working which is good because I was I didn't test it earlier so I just added that by part of the method and hopefully it works now I'm gonna I'm gonna say zero again and there we go looks like it worked um it quit the CMD um so I'm just gonna delete that browser.quit for now so that I can show you um but as you can see it did print out all the movies that were playing but this time also I'm all, I'm also going to do the great mall instead of santana there we go it worked so the first movie is angel has fallen which makes sense which is good because it does say here that angel has fallen is playing then it's overcomer looks like it worked good boys yep good boys is right there ready or not so as you can see it found all of the um movies that are playing currently that are actual movies because right here it would print out um other stuff that aren't even movies yet or out or movies that aren't even out yet so it looks like it worked our goal for the video has been met and that means i can wrap this up so thanks for watching goodbye until um